Hey guys, my name is Robert. I uh, appreciate you coming to this channel. Um, I'm behind my my wife's Lexus uh, LX 570 2013, and uh, I'll be doing a mod, my first mod on my wife's truck. I've been doing more oil changes with Jesse, and uh, a tire issue, uh, windshield wiper refills, but uh, no mod, no real mod. So here's the first mod. Not a huge mod, but huge enough that it makes a big difference at night. It's super hot today. It's around you know, 85. Yeah, I know it's not hot in some areas, but to me it's hot, you know, for California. And um, I'm going to be installing this real quick. I think it's because I had this black shirt, which was a bad idea. But anyways, um, I'll be installing this, uh, showing you how easy it is to, to um, install um, with a couple of tools. And um, we'll talk about it right now. All right guys, we are back and um, we're in the back of the messy LX570, which is an LC200 Land Cruiser. And uh, the nice thing about this, uh, this SUV, it has a power hatch. Uh, oddly enough, you have to open it manually if you don't use a button, but we'll go into that later. But anyways, uh, what I noticed, you won't see it now, I'll turn it on later. It's very dark in here. Um, there's a dome light right there, but it's an incandescent light. They didn't do LEDs. It's odd because some of the stuff is LED and some of the stuff is incandescent back then. But um, there's that light, but it's not very bright, especially back here. So they put this cargo light here, but it's also incandescent, so it's not that bright either. So I say, you know what? Um, I got this spa designs dome light to put it on. And uh, it's similar to what I have on those. I use those rock lights. Let's get a little closer. So those are rock lights. Did you see? Sorry, I don't get a focus. Those are rock lights that are on there. And they're pretty bright for little guys. So uh, this dome light is actually similar uh, brightness, but it has a button. So uh, we're going to install this. And did a little research, and I found out that there's power in this hatch. Uh, see this little cubby area? Some people actually have put a light there and that's where I'm gonna put my light. This comes off, uh, we'll go over how to get at it. But there's a cubby area and there's a way to tap into this power right here, which will activate once you open the hatch, which is perfect because we don't need this light unless we have the hatch open. And uh, it's gonna be a nice bright light shining 180 degrees. So uh, things that what you need is obviously one of these dome lights. Uh, I pick Bob Designs because I just love Bob Designs if you haven't seen my channel. But um, this comes with some hardware. But if it didn't, um, you'd get some screws, a screwdriver. Uh, you definitely need a little plastic pry bar. I'm using an Allen wrench because those are Allen bolts on that one. Or you could literally screw that on there. So I'll show you that option. Some drill bits. Uh, it's thin plastic, might be able to just do it by hand, but you got a drill right there and a screwdriver. If I wasn't going to use the, the hardware uh, that came with it, I'm going to be, if I had to use the screws. So that's how it's going to go. Pry bar is really important because um, uh, plastic can really mar pretty easily. So let me pop that out and then go from there. Let's see if we get this set up. All right. Kids keep on calling me and stuff oh. wow. there we go so that pops out pretty easily um go let's go this way so this is the rear the rearward position Come on, focus. There we go. This is the rearward position, rearward position right here. Uh, and you get the uh, design spark or don't line out. I decided to go with just the regular white light. They come in other colors. Um, I'll put the link in the description, by the way. Um, it's actually going to need a hole for the wire here um, to go through. If you want to be clean, that is. 
and then you can mount it through there. Um, hardware wise, comes with some ties, instructions. Uh, this is for a bar, um, long and short bolts. We can probably use the short ones. We could probably use the short ones because there's an indentation. Let's see if we can show you. There's an indentation in there so it kind of pops from the bottom, see? And it gives a good amount of thread. The plastic, I don't think it's too thick. If it's too thick, um, I use a longer screw. It won't hurt anything, there's a big opening here. So that's good. So that way um, we can feed that in there. So I think I wanna do it that it goes like that. If this is the towards the rear, so the wire isn't as noticeable when we're looking at it from this angle when it's open. So let's go ahead and do that. I wasn't kidding that it was hot out here. My phone overheated. And um, anyways, uh, this is mounted. Nice and pretty. Um, I could have used a little bit smaller hole right there uh, to get it, but that's, it's still pretty good. So I pull out this wire and it's basically going to touch to this guy right here. So that's why it's not working. Uh, it's in this direction. You squeeze it. You can see I got my hands all messed up. If you wanted to, you could take this whole panel out. But uh, that's also more work and things that can break. Anyways, you just get your hand in there, squeeze that part, yank it out. Um, power is pretty easy. You can tap. The black wire is ground, and the other ones, the next to it, is positive. So you just tap those two wires. And like I said, you could use, uh, I like to use these, uh, these posi taps, but you can use anything you want to use. So I'll show you how to use that, okay? All right. First things first is we want to, we want to tap the wire uh, first. Usually there's red ones, but um, I couldn't find any, so hopefully this will work. All right, my posi tops were too big. I needed red ones, so I ended up using uh, old school T taps, and you know, now it's working. All right, it's finally dark, so I can show you what it looks like when it's a normal car and you have those lights, or no lights, I should say. That's how bright it is. It's not bright at all. <laughs> and like I said, um, you got that dome light right there and you kind of move this stuff. And right here you have this little light. And uh, back it up. You can see how much that lights up anything. So now, yeah, see that? It's a halogen dome light. So right now we're gonna light up this thing. Okay, ow, <laughs> wow. Look how bright that is. Back up. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That little light. Let's go this way so you can see how much light's up. I'll turn it off so you guys can know how it does it. Okay. Big difference so, um from what I understand too, is if you close this, I think this light turns off. We'll check a look at that, see if that's the case. So I'm just leaving it on, see if it shuts out. Because if it doesn't, it turns off. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you uh, being part of witnessing my first mod for the LX570. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please like the video, please share the video. Show how people, uh, show people how easy it is to do this. And again, peace out.